I'm Chris from Orange County Farm Supply. Welcome back to another edition of Chris's Corner. Uh, today we're going to talk about uh, amending soils for fall planting or amending soils now in November for say spring. So you can always amend ahead of time, even several months ahead of time. Charging is very simple. I recommend four different options. Uh, I think they work best together. So gypsum being calcium sulfate will soften soils, especially if you're amending native soil. Um, if I'm amending uh, raised beds, this is also an excellent source of calcium. Gypsum is calcium sulfate. And it neutralizes salts that build up and it breaks up hard clay. Over here we have worm castings, earthworm castings. They're pure worm castings. And they're very rich in, we'll say, microbes and probiotic bacteria that we'll call it the biology. And worm castings also contain a lot of minerals. And worm castings are very mild, they don't burn. So you can be as liberal as you want with them. You could put as much as you want in, they won't burn. Um, next we have Paradise by G and B. It's a 555, meaning nitrogen 5%, phosphorus 5%, potassium 5%. It's also got microbes, but most importantly, the 555 paradise has mycorrhizae, which is a beneficial fungus that it's a permanent relationship it has with a host plant. So it being a tomato or a, a pepper, um, the relationship lasts as long as that pepper or tomatoes in the ground. If I use this on a fruit tree, uh, the tree could be around for decades. That's a permanent relationship it forms with a host plant. So the mycorrhizae that's in here will provide water and nutrients to the plant that it's hosted with. And the, the tree or the tomato will give back to the mycorrhizae. It's a symbiotic relationship. So the trees or the plant is giving, uh, giving photosynthesis nutrients from photosynthesis to the, uh, to the mycorrhizae. So they're very symbiotic. Uh, next we have minerals, which are in the form of very fine pulverized volcanic rock dust. And there's minerals like magnesium and, and calcium and uh, iron, zinc, manganese, copper, molybdenum, uh, molybdenum, cobalt, boron. There's all sorts of trace elements in rock dust. And using rock dust uh, will increase not only the fertility of the soil, it is paramagnetic, so it's going to create electrical fields in the soil. And it also uh, is going to increase bricks levels. So your dissolved sugars will go up with, with the rock dust. So everything not only tastes better, but it's going to be healthier for you. Because over farming, uh, over many years, decades, can take the minerals out of the soil. So adding rock dust is, to me, equally as important as the mycorrhizae in here, the gypsum here, the biology here in worm castings. So next we'll take a, a walk outside and I want to show you some soil amendments. Now we're outside. Uh, I'd like to show you r &M compost. We're talking about amendments now. When you amend native soil or raised beds, usually you take an amendment and you mix it one part to equal part of native soil or the raised bed. So mix it one to one basically. r &M compost has no wood in it. It's a steer manure base. It's the only compost we actually have that has an NPK. There's your nitrogen, there's your phosphorus, there's your potassium. Uh, potassium and it's very very I would say the consistency of uh, looks like coffee grounds so it's very very fun and easy to work with uh, this product is what I use personally and I love it and we'll go on to the next one finally I wanted to show you our last soil amendment it's g and B harvest supreme two cubic foot bags. It is by far our number one seller all year long. And what it is, it's a forest-based product that has 15% chicken manure added to it, along with some worm castings, bat guano, kelp meal, and that very fancy fungus that we love so much, mycorrhizae. So the inoculant, the mycorrhizal inoculant is in there. So this is a great amendment. If you don't want to use all those other things I showed you earlier, this has the mycorrhizae. So mix it one-to-one -one with your native soil, or with your raised beds. Thank you for watching Chris at Chris's Corner. 
Let's grow together. Thank you.